Hey guys, it's Jen and today I'm going to show you my process of how I put on mineral makeup. I like using Bare Minerals, it's one of my favorite foundations that I've been wearing lately so I've gotten a lot of requests for how I apply it. It's been a really, really long time since I've had a tutorial on how to apply mineral makeup but I thought why not since it's been my current most used foundation. So if you want to see how to get from this to this, then keep watching. So for materials, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Original Foundation in shade Medium Beige. I have my Mineral Veil in shade Mineral Veil. And then I'm going to be using three brushes. I have this Real Techniques Buffer Brush. I have this little Concealer Rounded Sigmax brush. And then I have my Sephora Pro Precision Powder Brush. It's just kind of a fluffy one. We're gonna start off with the foundation. It's a powder form, so I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid. I have just a little bit of crumblies on the inside. I don't use too much to start off with, and I like using this synthetic brush because it's dense enough that I get a full coverage, and then I can also kind of like concentrate on certain areas. So basically, I take this brush and I'm swirling it around the cap. Now I'm just tapping out the excess, and then I'm just using sweeping motions in circles all over my face. You don't have to get a full coverage with this first round, I'm just kind of trying to get it even all over. I'm just doing the same process over again, just kind of evenly swirl the brush around, tap out the excess. In this cheek area, I have a lot of pores and little discoloration spots that I like to cover. So I use small little circles to kind of get in all of the little cracks and crevices of my face. My forehead doesn't need that much coverage, so I don't really go over it too many times. I kind of need more coverage like closer to the middle of my face. So we're just kind of using each layer to build up natural coverage. Now for the subsequent layers, instead of going everywhere evenly, I'm just going to kind of concentrate this in large-ish areas that I still need more coverage. So like I said before, I'm not going over my forehead again, my nose looks pretty good, my chin I think is pretty much okay, but I need a little bit more across my cheeks. So I'm just going to kind of like do smaller circles in just those areas. Now I'm just doing the same thing, but in the tiny areas where I want the most coverage, I'm taking the same brush, same technique, and I'm just pressing on small sections. So the reason I'm doing this is if you just immediately go into taking a lot of product and putting it in a single area, it's gonna look really cakey and obvious, and the slight differences between the foundation and your skin are going to really show up like you might have like just a big orange patch right there and that's what we're trying to avoid so we're just going to kind of build it up layer by layer in certain areas but try to make it look as natural as possible now i'm going to go one last time and do some fine pinpointing with my concealer brush i'm using the exact same foundation tapping a little bit in my cup cup lid tapping a little bit into my lid right here so I'm taking this, this is a nice, super dense synthetic brush. I really like it because it's kind of rounded on the top so you can blend things in but have a lot of concentrated product. So it does a little bit more coverage. So I'm just tapping this in with like a pretty concentrated amount. Still tap it out so it's not like overtly powdery. I have hyperpigmentation spots so I'm just going to go to one of those areas, like right here. And I'm gonna just kind of like swirl this in a circle. If you're doing this right, it should just kind of make those little discoloration areas look like they're just melting in your skin and disappearing. And trust me, if you just go to this step from the beginning, it looks really bad and obvious. <laughs> Once we're pretty satisfied with how the foundation looks on the face and like concealing everything that you want to conceal, you can at this point add an extra concealer under the eyes if you need that. I'm actually going to skip that just to show you my face with 
just the mineral makeup on, but I know a lot of people, you know, dark circles are a huge concern. And because mineral makeup is on the more like drier side, I wouldn't necessarily recommend to just use mineral makeup to cover dark circles. I would actually use a creamy concealer for that. But like I said, I'm going to skip that step just to show you guys what it looks like by itself. And I'm going to go onto the mineral veil. So this step is one that's going to sort of help set everything, give it kind of an airbrushed finish, and help it to not look oily throughout the day. So I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid again, swirl it into a bigger, fluffier powder brush, and then I'm just going to go over my entire face. This one I don't necessarily need to buff in really vigorously like the actual mineral makeup, but it just kind of like sets everything to a really nice, soft, smooth look. And I guess that's about it. I mean, the face looks done. Now I'm just going to finish off this look with a pop of blush. I'm using Benefit's Coralista. And for lips, I'm just using one of my faves, Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. So this is the look with my lips and cheeks done. Just to give you guys a little bit of background on why I use mineral makeup. I have very acne-genic skin, as you guys might know if you followed me for a while. I'm very acne prone, very pore clogging prone. I'm sensitive to quite a lot of products and mineral makeup just works really well for me. It doesn't clog my pores, it doesn't make me have breakouts. And anytime my skin's kind of freaking out, I kind of like, stop all of my liquid and creams and all kinds of like fun foundations and I kind of go back to minerals and after I've used minerals for a while my skin kind of like calms down and chills out and gets kind of back to normal. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for some of you guys really interested in mineral makeup and just wanted to kind of know how to apply it or maybe you've tried it before and it looked a little bit cakey. Definitely try out these techniques and let me know if it works for you. If you enjoyed this video, then I would absolutely love it if you hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on mineral makeup. Have you tried it before? Have you not tried it, but you're interested or you tried it and it was terrible? I want to just hear all of your experiences. I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to talk with you all about lash extensions. I'm stoked that 90s grunge fashion is back. We're gonna make three throwback outfits that are totally trendy today.